Because I'm bungry. So you're just constantly talking to yourself. Yes. Do you ever feel calm? No. <laughs> Three, two, one. I thought we were going to be in sync. No. Now my feelings are hurt. So, reading a week is over. You, we both had, I, I, have we both had two finals done? It's a lot harder to say something while drinking than I thought. Uh, uh. Slurp jug. <laughs> what did you I'm ask? I'm about to chug splash you right now. What did you fucking ask me? I asked Dumbass you, piece have, you had, of shit? have you had two finals yet or what? Have I had two? Uh, I'm on my second final. I, I, I just finished my second final. Yeah, I finished second. But I still have... On what? Faking a degree at Emerson 101? I still have a third that I have to do that yeah. I did like a bit of research for. Right, it's about one. core core. God, I hate that that's a good thing you can write about. I mean, it's talking about a fucking... I have yeah. two more. Economics uh, and math. Uh, dude, my foot is hot. Then take it off. You're not moving. No, but I can't. Because the fucking, even when, I wasn't moving when I was writing the damn essay. Yeah, you were, you were kicking your foot around, were you not? Yeah, but I'll still end up doing that. But now it's at But, least but you're slamming it more than you abnormally, an abnormal amount because you have something heavy we on it. We should explain that I am Jake is possibly the crippled. world's most fragile person I've ever met in my life. I, I. Uh, if you bounced a rubber ball off of him, he'd get six to eight bruises and be out for four to five weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I fucking pulled or tore some goddamn muscle in my foot. And it was like, it was hurting for a while. Right. You over there with your fucking perfect ass, normal ass feet. And me with my fucking broken ass feet. Should but I, then. Did we censor that? But then. I have to go to my only feet. So what's the a feet finder? Wiki feet. Is it Wiki feet? Wiki feet's the website that has the rating. And then all the different photos. No, but I want people to pay me for it. Okay, that's only fans. Oh. Only only feet. Yeah. So but, but yeah, so I, I fucking did something. Nice. And now I got a boot on, and they gave me crutches as well that I'm going to fucking hit you with over there. No. Can I reach you? Oh, I can reach you. Yeah, you can. But I don't really need the crutches. If I was fucking going for walks, then I would. I don't fuck with crutches. I don't think anybody does. But it's like, it feels so unintuitive. Unintuitive. What would you rather have? A cane. You can turn that into a cane. I guess. Or you can just use the umbrella that you have back there. as a cane. Yeah, but then I look goofy. Brother, you go to Emerson. Everybody look here like looks goofy. I like fucking Mary Poppins. Um, the you penguin. being a man with a beard, the penguin that is. I don't think Mary Poppins was a penguin. The Batman villain. Oh, I was tripping for a little bit. I thought she was saying that Mary Poppins was a penguin. No, no. but I did. There was like one night where I, I, I was going to go to the bathroom to brush my teeth. And I was like, I have a monopod. And so I almost fucking walked down with that. You but could have been possibly the greatest nerd. But then the I, I, I was about to leave the door, and I was holding the monopod, and I was like, it doesn't hurt this much. Yeah, <laughs> I can fucking been, walk with that. Sad, that would have been a sad reality. Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You want to open your present? Oh, I right. I have a present. Let's do this. I should FaceTime my mom. She wanted me. All right. Shout out Jake's mom. But this is to you and me. Yeah. All right. Well, then let's you and me open it. 
much. Am I just opening it for you? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. We'll wait till she picks up. I love up. you, Alaka. That's good. Present time. All right, let's open this thing. Let's see what this. Low expectations, folks. Let's see. Closing my eyes. What Jake, is? Jake, close this? your eyes. Three, two, two <laughs> one. A shotty. What does that mean? Two LED beanie hats. Whoa! I didn't read that part. What does that mean? It's a hat, but it has like a light and like a flashlight. Oh, so we charge. can see when it gets dark at three p.m. here. See when it gets dark at noon. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see what these look like. Thank Let's. Mother. Thank yeah. you so much. It's actually mad cool. I All don't right. Know how to open this. Thank you, Mom. Bye. Love you. Miss you. Shout out Jake's mom. Always been a G, never will stop being a G. Oh, look at that, dude. What? Fleece lined. Oh. Okay. Oh! Epic. I feel like this is bad color coordination. That I got the orange one for my orange hair and you got the black one for your I think you look hair. nice in orange, though. I think it does really well for you. But it blends in. How That's... would you replace the battery on this? Can you? Oh, God, I just shit myself right in the eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, you can totally, because you can take it out. This shit is USB. Oh, wait, hold on. Hello? Some doctor. Doctors always be hip online. Look, it charges USB. Oh, that's nice. Wait, but did you like, oh, there's a whining around. Oh. Yeah. Take that. Plug that oh. bad boy in. Interesting. Clicks in. Hey, what the? F Wait, what is that? What? Is, what is this? Bobby, what is this? That's the USB. This is USB. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's man, the, that's crazy. That's one half of a USB. Dude, that's so it's wild just to the look at. It's just the power side and not the data side. That's crazy to look at. Right. Look. Thin. It's just like it's like as thin as like a USB C. Yeah. A little wider though. A little wider. That's crazy. Damn. It's a freaking thick one boy. Thick, thick boy. It's a thick boy hat. Thick boy hat. It's nice though. Thank you very much. Jake's mom. Shout out Jake's mom. All my homies love Miss Dolby. Is your name, is your last name? Huh? Public? It's going on your public channel. Yeah. Where it's gonna be linked to my shit. What? Just burped. Oh. It's nice. This feels nice in here. Yeah. Like a pillow. <laughs> Please, I just look at yourself. No, I did. I am looking at it in the viewfinder. Oh, okay. You can see my hair on my head. Does this fuck with the camera now? I mean, if you were to keep it shining directly right at it, probably. Well, that's very nice. I don't remember where we were. We... Uh, Hanukkah. Oh, yeah. Hanukkah! Judaism. There's shit that I can say about it. That the woke mob will cancel me for. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's gonna try. It, I went to a fucking. I went these, to. These views are exclusively Jake's and do not represent I went to any the, of my I went views. to the city of Boston. Uh, giant. There's like a. Giant, Menorah lighting. Yeah, in the common. I don't know if you. Did you have to walk here from Park Street? Nope. Oh, Boston's open? Mm hmm. Oh, nice. Um, 
This is, yeah, it's opening it. But, uh, yeah, they did a big menorah lighting. Yep. Um, <laughs> but some of the speakers they had were like, man, go fuck yourself. What do you mean? They were conflating uh, Judaism with Zionism. Do you know what Zionism is? It's like an extreme branch of Judaism, is it not? But not uh, Orthodox? Ooh. That'll fucking... That could, watch out, Harvard fucking Senate hearing. Zionism's that, like, Israel is, like, they're based. They get the land. All that land should be Israel's. Is that not an extreme branch of Judaism? No. Because there can be Christians who are Zionists. Mm. Everyone who is like... Israel kind of based on what they're doing with Palestine is a Zionist. Yeah. I feel like that's a gross generalization too, though. No, I mean, it's that, like... It, Zionism is like... It's that Israel... It's the belief that Israel has a claim to the land. But it's just that, like, that oftentimes gets Zionism, a movement for originally the reestablishment and now the development and protection of Jewish nation in what is now Israel. Um, so you don't think Israel should exist at all? No. The, not no. No as in... I, That's not what you believe. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, the primary goal of the... Zionist movement was to establish the basis for a Jewish homeland in Palestine. No, Zionism's like, fuck Palestine. Oh, as in there shouldn't be a Palestine at all. Yeah, I may be kind of generalizing, but like, more so fuck Palestine than l let that shit be equal. Okay. We'll probably cut that. <laughs> this whole probably five minute for, probably for our, we'll, we'll, we'll record an extra five minutes just No, for but our it's safety. like... It was, it was, it was, yeah, it just fucking gets me pissed off. And so, I, uh, so one of the fucking speak, like, everyone was, like, kind of talking about it in circles, but it was, like, there was one speaker who was more so, like, yeah, it's good Jews, we should be Zionists. And I was, like, go fuck yourself. And I just got disgusted. And you know, fucking, bleh, bleh. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I hold no opinions as I'm nowhere near educated enough to have an opinion other than to Fuck listen and, 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 and understand all viewpoints. Yeah. And so I was like, it got me riled up. I was fucking like, if I, if I, if I, uh, wouldn't be having to deal with fucking checking a bag or something, it's like, I, I want to do a fucking, or I'm still like 50-50 on this, I may, but like, I had the idea of like, doing a charity fundraiser over winter break for Palestinian relief funds, but I was like, I don't know if I can do that. Like, I could. You are at least, mm, eight videos behind? Yeah, that's the thing, is I could, but I still have the mental health videos, and those- Which are not done. Which are not done. And we after have, we have four podcasts now, and ideally, once I finish the mental health videos, then I do a charity fundraiser for that. For what? Mental health. Yeah. For the Trevor Project. Hmm. And I also found out recently that, um, like, there's been like, uh, maybe like, I don't remember the number, like ten or twenty book challenges at Alachua County since like I don't fucking know the start of the school year maybe and it was like 60% of them are all by one parent I was like oh this is a little suspicious <laughs> what's the deal with that book challenges what does that mean like for to ban the book oh so because the way it works is that a parent will normally see a book and they're like this shouldn't fucking be here and then they'll, by whatever means, and then they'll go to the admin and be like, you guys gotta pull this shit. And then that's a challenge. And then if they decide the parent's right, then that's a ban. Or if they, if they give in and take it out, then that's a ban. 
so there's research to be done there, and I'm probably going to end up doing that. But the point is, is that if I wasn't fucking eight videos behind, eight videos? Like you're eight videos behind. Because by the time we finish here, it'll be five videos. No. Yeah. Five for what? By the end, we're going to finish with next week. What? Next week will be our fifth. So I'm saying by the time you leave Boston. I'm not going to be here next weekend. When do you leave? Fucking counter that, pussy liberal. (laughs) I leave uh, either. (laughs) The Friday or the Thursday? (laughs) Uh, either next Friday or like this Friday or this Saturday. Then we'll do it. Uh, we do it Thursday. Do it Thursday. We do it this Thursday. Dude, fucking Thursday. Yeah, cause I have my X ten final that morning, and I'm not gonna want to do anything. So we ball. I mean, I guess we could. We could just. So you're still gonna be here this weekend. This I'm must be really interesting to listen to us talk about our fucking skin. But so you're going to be here this weekend still? Yeah. Why? I still have a final Monday. Like, not this, not tomorrow, Monday, next. Cringe Lord. Test Maybe. final or like essay final? Test. Uh cringe, dude. Very cringe. And then the next flight I can take is not until the next morning. Why? It's in the afternoon, dude. It's late. Oh, the test is in the afternoon. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Isn't that cringy? Yeah, that is kind of fucking cranky crunchmas. Right before <laughs> crunchmas. Um <laughs> I I also well, wanted to give myself time to actually go Christmas shopping. Well then by that point, once we fucking record Thursday, then that'll be nine. Five podcast. Two mental health videos. Three? Four. Four? Yeah, four. Why do you think it's taken so long, Brother Bear? It's Why don't you release one? Because I want to go bam, bam, bam. This was, I was intentional with this. Because I was like, I know, I know myself. I know that if I release one, then there's going to be more data that comes out. And I'm going to be like, I got to talk about it for the next ones. And that's going to be a big thing. And I'm like, all right, well, I have to split this up into something more. I knew this. I knew this. It's all right. I'll you are you. as efficient as a diesel bus running on corn syrup. Go fuck and yourself. Loose dreams. Go fuck yourself. I'm a power to the player, baby, and I'm the player. Isn't power to the player an Xbox thing? I got one up there, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Is power to the player an Xbox? I think so, or like a Duracell fucking Energizer thing, maybe. But it's like. I'll fucking I'll if I if I don't do the damn diggity damn charity fundraiser over winter break. I don't think you should do any charity fundraisers until you're so free and so f- able to do everything. I Agreed. think that's a summer thing. Probably. But uh And why do these things matter to you? We don't live there anymore. Shut you know? up. Cuz I'm a journalist, Javi. Yeah, but cuz I'm a journalist, why don't you do shit Javi. Here? Part of the player is GameStop. GameStop. GME to the moon, baby. Did you see how that, like, spiked up again recently? What? Not, like, anywhere. No, no, Power to the Players is the GameStop phenomenon and why it's getting started. A book by Rob Smith. No, but Power to the Players is their is their slogan. Right? Yeah. But did you see the GameStop fucking stock went up again? Uh-uh. Yeah. This was maybe, like, a week or something ago. Interesting. But it, because it, you know how the last time it was because, like, short selling. Yeah. There wasn't any of that this time. We're just rolling. It was it. just speculation. It was like it was like I oh, there's like, going to be an earnings report, but it was like even that. Yeah, it didn't go nearly I'm as not high. Not very big on speculative investments. Fuck NFTs. Is that you? Yeah. Yeah, but it's like, um, what was I saying? Oh, there was an earnings report. It didn't go. Oh, it didn't go anywhere near as high as it did when I was in on it, because that was a fucking day one. Semper Fi, OG. Um, Semper Fi? <laughs> what is that? I think that's a term for like a, like, 
talking about a, Shush. a college you went Nobody to. Nobody is dying that much. I think you would be like, oh, yeah, I fucking knew you from... I actually don't know what Semper Fi means. I'm pretty sure Semper Fi is you like Google a fraternity. It, yeah, it's a fraternity thing, I think. But it's like... Yeah, it didn't go anywhere... GameStop didn't go anywhere near as high as it did when when there was the main one. No, that... Ooh, no. In, in... What was that? Beginning of 2021? What came first, January 6th or GameStop? Semper Fi is the model of the U.S. Marine Corps. Semper Fi. But the so, first thing that comes up is, is it okay to say Semper Fi? Semper Fi. It means always faithful. Yeah, always faithful to GME. I definitely didn't sell it. Brother, you sold like three months into it. I sold uh, perfectly at the peak and then bought in again for less and then lost not money total, but lost in your second buy. Yeah. But I still gained. You're the worst investor there could ever be. Nah, because at that point I was like, this is kind of funny. <laughs> what's your what's your portfolio right now? What's your positive net gain? Zero. I don't think I have anything. How many gains? What, what was your gains when you pulled out? Uh, shit, like million? Kerjillion? I don't remember. You think I'm a fucking accountant, Bobby? You think I do accounting? Here, at a film school. Not accountant school. School is so wild. I would go to MIT if I were a fucking accountant. You should not waste your efforts at MIT to be an accountant. All right, what's accounting school? UPenn? I don't know. They apparently have a lot of Jews there. Evidently. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know where this is going. Do you think all Jews are accountants? What are you meaning to say here? No, they're bankers. Jacob. J.K. Rowling made that quite clear. <laughs> Harry Potter fans, all three of them listening to this are all pissed off. No, they're not. They fucking know that those goddamn goblins were meant to be Jews. Look at them. They're short and stout. They got big ass noses, wide ears, and work in banks and caves. <laughs> and apparently even the deep cuts of the lore is like based on like Judaism folklore or something. Really? She must have gone into the trenches to be racist, to be anti-Semitic. That's anti-Semitic. Bitch was ahead of the curve with fucking rising wave of anti-Semitism. Yeah. What a weird thing. What? Jake. Joe Mama. She's a weird person. I don't have the topics pulled up. Do we have topics? Well, I don't know. Let's pull them up. Lethal Company. All right. Lethal Company is too scary for me. I don't like horror. This is a well-known thing amongst my friends. I will never watch a horror movie for fear I might shit myself. Bobby. I don't watch any TV shows other than comedy specials and the Great British Baking Show because everything else is too scary. Mrs. Doubtfire is too scary. What? Sometimes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Dude. Mrs. Doubtfire? I had to get Maddie to pause Mrs. Doubtfire because... Bro, it's Mrs. Doubtfire. When she was in the restaurant and changing that many times, my heart rate was considerably above 200. You're such a fucking wimp. Yeah. You couldn't handle a tense a scene. Right That's a very tense scene. I can't do that. You know how much stress Bro, is in my life as it your is? Your back would fucking snap and hap if you, if you were trying to watch Nathan Fielder. No, if I was trying to watch any horror movie, anything with tension. No, that's not horror. Nathan Fielder's very awkward humor. Cringy, cringy I humor. can't do that. I can't do that. You would fucking snap in two. Yep. You'd be like a goddamn yep. gingerbread man. Man, and when it comes to real life, I'll be fine. Like, went to uh, Halloween Horror Nights, easy money. When I'm in, But watching that, not a chance in the world. I'll scream. <laughs> I'll die. Lethal Company, I think you just got to be like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> just, no, because you guys <laughs> die, and I'm out there just, I take the things that are dropped at the door, and I bring them Johns back to Yeah, the, to that's the where shit. you're wrong. No, and I got killed doing that, and I almost died. I, I was so scared. I think you just have to say. And that, that whole time where it was like all everybody was dead, and I was like, uh, guys, hello? Yeah, I think you just got to you gotta go in with your cock out and say, fuck it. And you just, just got to make it your bitch. Scary. And then if you die, then it's like, whatever. 
It was at least quick. And we lose. Is there no way to outrun them? I don't know. I don't know the game that well. Neither do I. I've only played once. Fucking Charlie Manson. He knows that game better. Did you know his last name is Manson? Her good friend, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie Manson. Yeah, he's did related he, did, to did, Marilyn. Did, did he mayhaps be part of a, a cult? Yeah. Charlin yeah. Manson. That's Manson. his full legal name. <laughs> Charlin. What's his friend's dumb name? <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> it's not his real name. Oh, Chesmond? Chesmond is not his real name. Yeah, uh, Ethan. Yeah, where did Chesman come from? Dumb name. Um, remember there was that time we were playing with him and with Covey as well, and he kept calling Covey Chesman, <laughs> or did he call him Kesman? <laughs> I don't remember. It was Kesman. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 Kesman. Kesman. Kesman was like a real guy's name, and it was like apparently he was like. No, they had someone on their Rainbow Six esports team named Chesmond. And then they met someone playing pubs named Kesmond. But then now he calls Ethan Chesmond. (laughs) (laughs) And he was calling Covey Kesmond. Kesmond. And Covey was like, what is going on? Covey was uh, Covey was not (laughs) (laughs) happy. That was a wild. I'm played, dying. Fortnite by itself is scary. You ever played Fortnite solo? It's scary, dude. No, it's not. Yeah, yes, it is because you hear. Foot- if you go fucking full gamer stance on it, like, <laughs> ugh, and, and turn into a goddamn gorilla no. with fucking how tapped in you are, no, yeah. No, no. You hear footsteps and then they stop, and you know they're close. You're just waiting for them to peek you. Yeah, you but just where. fucking. Chill out. Dude, fucking pop a beta blocker, Xanax or something. God, you're so fucking high strung. I know. It's very scary. You just got to fucking chill out. Put on some fucking tunes for Fortnite or watch then, a potty podcast. Then you can't hear where they're... Where, where they're, where they're, where they're yeah, but are you part. ever solo playing Fortnite to I tried last and night and I had to pause after... I, well, I had one game and I was like, you know what? This is too stressful. Dude, you're a wimp. I am a wimp. You're a fucking baby boy. Wimp. You're a baby little baby boy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. It, it it does stress me out an incredible amount. Yeah. It's weird. Just don't. I wish I could. I Just wish fucking I could. tap in. I tap out, I mean. But put a podcast on. Why are you solo playing Fortnite to win? I only solo play Fortnite to fucking. Get I don't game quests. to pass the time though. I get quests if I'm. I don't solo care that play. much about Fortnite though. But you play enough. I play to games fucking... socially. I don't play games to rank. But then why were you solo playing? Because nobody answered my calls. You didn't answer my call six times. When was this? Last night. I may or may out, not have been. I conked out early because I got fucking crutches. You should have fucking called. Chesman and, and, and Charlie. I don't know and them Ch- enough. I mean, Charlin. Charlie. He was fucking fiending last night to play with someone. Yeah, they were they were playing a different game, though. No, they weren't. He was trying to play Fortnite. He was calling me. He was trying to play Fortnite. When I, I got like, online, only Chesman was playing Fortnite. Uh, I don't know. He may have been set to offline. In Fortnite or in Discord? Fortnite. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways. Probably, probably could have fucking tapped Charlie. Said, Ayo, Ayo bottom bitch, hop in a lobby. That would have gotten him. That would have hooked him. That honestly probably would have. <laughs> <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Got yeah. him. I mean, what time is it? Mm, maybe one. Oh, he may have been asleep already. Why were you up at 1 a.m. playing Fortnite? I was writing a paper. I wanted to do something to have fun. Fucking watch MKBHD or something. How do you watch all of this stuff? What was that sound? What? Did you hear that weird sound? I don't know. There's a lot of weird sounds. We live in a Did you get rid of your city. little butt? Pad? Uh, No, there's that one over there. Did you get rid of your other one? Yeah, I haven't been using it. 
Yeah, you should just get a better pad. Yeah, probably. Um, because it makes you got it shit. But then it's all right. I've, it, it, it's a good motivator to go shit though, because you're like, "Fuck, I feel like crowning." <laughs> Why are you pulling it out? It's just, you know, fucking it's just so hard. And then put it, it over your ri- knee and spank it or right, something. <laughs> right in, it rises right in the crevice. You know what I'm saying? That's why it makes you want to shit. Yeah, it like perfectly spreads your <laughs> cheeks. It presses right on your hole so that you fucking feel it. And you're like, shit, that, uh, there's shit. That day, what a miserable day today is. Fucking teach me how to dug you, dude. It's raining. But it's decently warm. I, f- I wish it was like it's not like you've been outside to touch grass. At a yeah, place. I haven't been outside. I I I I I uh, I could probably count on two hands how many times I've left this dorm building in the past three days. That's no good. I mean, it's just like I got fucking quirk to do. I'd be fucking should, typing and bliping. You should take your MacBook and go study somewhere else. No, but you don't get the theory of the zone. Also, I don't have to do any studying. I mean, writing. No, nah, but you don't get the theory of the zone. All right, here's the theory of the zone. All right, all right I'm gonna fucking enlighten you. This is kind of actually based in real psychology and kind of not. But, like, more so is than isn't, all right? So the way your mind works, all right, Bobby, is you fucking create behavioral things in that it's like you associate. You're constantly making associations. And so so if it's like, oh, fuck. If it's like, if it's like, all right, I fucking, uh, before I go to sleep, I brush my teeth. So then when you brush your teeth, you're like, all right. In the back of your head, you're like, all right, it's Betty by time. I'm going to start getting sl- t- tired. <laughs> but in the same way, it's that works for the same thing as the, re- as the rest of you. So that's why, like, fucking, I never, I never, I never, my beds here takes up fucking tree fitty of the room, feels like. Never go in it during the day. Never. Because you only want to associate your bed with fucking... With sleep and with sex. And neither of those I'm doing that much recently. (laughs) (laughs) So... (laughs) Okay. So you... So that's the thing. That's what I learned in CBTI. Which to some stands for cock and ball torture I... But for me, it was, it was cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia. Okay. All right. But so the theory of the zone, let me tell you about the zone, Bobby. All right. So the thing is, is like I had it perfect back home. Okay. Because you know what? I had a room that was like office room. So I fucking go to quirk when I'm in there. I'm never in there if I'm not working or slaving away or in a discord call with y'all. But then I had other room. That was TV room with couch where I'd be big chilling. Situation. Bing chilling. Sitting there on the couch. And so the thing is, is the theory of the zone. Because then when I would be like, if I was in couch mode, I would be like, bleh. But if I go into other room, into office, then like light switch. I don't know how I made that flicking, snapping. It was like with my thumb joint, whatever. You go into other room, and it's like you're in fucking work mode. So that's the theory of the zone. But so I want to create the theory of the zone in here because I need that so that I can focus better. So with the work zone, good old computer. But the play zone, chilling back in the goddamn lounge chair that you in. <laughs> that's the theory of the zone. <laughs> so my my rebuttal to this uh-huh. Is that why would you make the zone the same place where you play uh, video games? Uh, if I were you, I would make the zone some specific place on campus outside of your room. See, that's what a lot of people do. That's what I do. But I say fuck that. 
Because then I'm dependent on all the other outside factors. Like what? Like, if the room is taken in the library that I normally go to. No, but I'm saying, like, go to the, like, do you guys have stacks in your library? What is that? Library usually has, like, a reading area and, like, a general concourse and talking to a library and thing. And then there's just, like, at Harbor, there's, like, just a bunch of rows. You go into the thing called the stacks, and it's just rows and rows of books. And on the ends, there's, like, desk. I don't know what Ivy League bullshit you're preaching to me. In my humble 80K a year school. But, uh... Your school costs far more than mine. Well, a few thousand more than mine. I don't know. Well, but that's also not including scholarship. And well, yeah, I mean, we, we're not paying anywhere. Neither of us are paying anywhere near the price of the school. But anyway, um... Yeah, that's what most people do is they go to the library and shit. Like, fucking some old friends, they would go to the library and shit to do work. I think, I don't think Ren goes anywhere to do work because I don't think they yeah, do but any I think work. you should do but, that. Um, no, because then it's like, I'm fucking depending on the vibes there, you know? The vibes, you make the vibes. <sighs> <laughs> My glasses are stuck. <laughs> yeah, but then it's like, you know, what if the fucking library is closed? Shit am I going to do then? There's common areas. Dick about what? There's common areas here, right? I think uh, I disagree with the theory of the zone in terms of the the building of the association for the library. Because I say fuck that because then I'm dependent on the outside vibes. But I do think there is something good to the fact that you are forcing yourself out of this area where is your chill area because then it's like, I'm already here. Gotta do fucking work. I'm here, I gotta fucking cork in. You know? But for me, it's like, it's not, I can do that on a micro scale. Rather than gotta walk all the fucking dick damn places, I just be a magic Uh, when I first toured the school, it's one floor. In a building. Yeah, that's the problem about this campus. Or lack thereof. What's that? That's the problem with, like, this campus and, like, the lack of there being a real campus. No, I mean, there's a lot that I could do for, like, I could book a room. Well, no, like I'm a saying, study like, room. Like, we, I mean, I mean you know, what a privilege I have, but, like, there's, like, gorgeous libraries everywhere at Harvard. And then there's, like, different types of libraries. So, like, Widener is, like, an always client library. And it's obviously like the most famous. But then there's like Cabot, which is like an extremely social library where like collaboration is encouraged. And like everybody's talking and stuff. Fuck and then that. there's like Le Mans, where there's like different floors that are differently social. Nah, fuck that. Because you know what? I can be my own independent nation state in here. Do everything that I need. Yeah, to but do. are you really getting stuff done? Yes. Lies. You want to read my fucking 4,000 page paper? Well, if it was 4,000 pages, it'd be longer than the Bible, and so I doubt. 4,000 words? No. Also, the Bible's not the longest thing ever. No, I didn't yeah, I said it would just be longer than the Bible. You know what the longest thing written ever is? Story of my life. It's a Super Smash Brothers fan fiction. That can't be right. I don't believe that. Somebody made one that's the exact same length, plus one page. Guaranteed. Well, the guy keeps updating it. But then that's not a solid work. It's a collection of work. I don't know. That's not one story. Fucking queef on my ass, hobby. I don't know. <laughs> Google it. It's real. I don't believe that. I'm preaching facts to God right now. I'm gonna beat you up with this crap. Don't beat me up. How long is the long? I don't know how this crutch works. Because there's like holes on it. But it's like, it's the longest thing ever. It's a grigillion. Read your results to the class. The Blah Story by Nigel Tome. 3.2 million words. Longest book ever written. Published in 23 volumes. 
Is that the Smash Brothers thing? Yep. Fuck, I'm looking at fake news then. Over the years, there's been some controversy over which constitutes the longest novel. The Guinness Book of World Records gives the honor to Marcel's Proust, The Remembrance of Past Things, weighing in at 9,609,000 characters, including spaces. Uh, other commentaries cite Henry Darger's In the Realms of the Unreal, 15,000 page handwritten tome that is yet to see print. Darger is said to have commented, This is what you can do when you have no radio or television. Why write something so long? Blah, 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 blah. What's the fucking. What am I thinking of? Long Smash Bros. fanfic. Oh shit, it got deranged. Told you. The Subspace Emissary's World's Conquest. It was 8 million words. Probably, something like that. Numbers are goofy. What's with you and the phone? Ah, fuck. Every website says something different. So, I don't know, who trust? Fake news. Probably. Fake media. The woke media. Ah, I think the you to think. I mean, I was telling you about this last night, but fucking, uh, not last night, whatever night it was, but how Elon fucking dropped a new AI on Twitter, called Guac. Oh yeah, explain this to me, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. But he was just- Why does he need an AI? Because he's like, screw the tech bros that made their own ones, it's a liberal one. But it turns out that his, I think, is actually more liberal than ChatGPT. I think there was some work done. I don't know how reliable that is, but there has been a few things that have been found, which is like... Did like, I do the political compass on it? Could you do the political... Did they do the political oh, compass? Oh, I think they did. Or at least that was an image they showed in the article. I didn't fucking read the article. Okay. It was like a photo of a tweet of an article. Uh, exactly why I'm like, it may be dubious. But it's like, I have seen stuff of like... Like, someone asked it, like, Elon Musk in 2014 said that his family had an emerald mine, but now he denies it. What's up with it? And the AI Grok was like, turns out he may be doing a little bit of history erasure. Because it turns out he, yeah, why are you hiding that, Elon? It was history erasure. Like erasing history. Oh, 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 I see. The noun, the act of erasing. Okay. Weird. Bobby. But it was also like it uh there was there's someone on, on Twitter who <laughs> Why am I so tired? There's someone on Twitter who's like she's a very prolific uh fucker who <laughs> I there's no better Utterly way. respectful. Have you heard of Libs of TikTok? She's just like fucking scum of the earth. She'll just like find liberals posting liberal shit on TikTok and be like, I'm gonna dox this person. This is where they live. This is their employment. Get them fired. And she gets them fired. She was also like she's led multiple bomb threats to be called into a hospital here. Um, In Boston? Yeah. Well, why isn't she there? Uh, I don't know. But, uh, well, because it's her fans that do it. But I think there is probably some potential for her to be held liable. Anyway, she was banned, and then Elon was like, nah, you can keep her. But the AI was like, recently, it was like, no, nah, she's li liable for those hospital bombings or something. Crazy. And it's like, yo, that's kind of funny. Chaya Ray Chay Shanae? Twitter was an on fire garbage can before it was bought by Elon Musk. But then he and just now, dumped alcohol in it and, and made the fire bigger. And now still an on-fire garbage no, can. No, but it's much worse now. And, well, can you really get worse than an on-fire garbage can? He's letting Alex Jones back on the platform. It was already an on-fire garbage can. I don't really care. It's Alex Jones. Yeah. And he can stay in that. He's letting... Twitter he, has been a cesspool. He's I really letting... Javi, there was someone who was like... Who posted pedophile porn like child porn i'm of the opinion that twitter should have been shut down a long time ago <coughs> <coughs> why it's, it's just, just a social of a platform nah, it's just social media 
I don't think it should have been shut down. Why should it have? There's no has point. There, has there been any good thing to come out of Twitter? Uh, a lot of good journalism. Oh, journalism. No, actually, it's good for live updates for like ongoing war conflicts and stuff. Write an article. No, for like ask, real tell. time updates of like there's a bombing happening here. Yeah, for journalists. How many people are on Twitter compared to other social medias? Not a lot. Yeah, go to threads. Well, yeah. But Twitter's th- dead. That's true. X. But threads... Now that there's a viable competitor, it seems viable. to be moderated better. They're still building their shit, though. Yeah. So is Twitter. Twitter has been able true. to handle anything. They haven't launched a new... F- name one new feature Twitter has launched that's been successful. I don't know why I'm defending Twitter. Yeah, I don't know why you're defending Twitter. That is an on-fire garbage can that should be dead. No, but I think if everyone is to move to threads, then threads won't be different. No, I think threads would be very different. Okay, you think threads would be different than Twitter two years ago? Yeah. That's goofy. Why is that goofy? Why do you think it would be different? What do you think would change? Because the amount of bots and inactive accounts and all that stuff would change. That's not the problem. That's not why Twitter's an on-fire garbage can. Twitter's half porn bots, half scam bots, and then a mild sector of very loud right-wing people, an even louder section of of left-wing people, and then journalists, and they're all fighting for third place. Not anymore. Now right-wingers are louder than left-wingers. But, yeah, I still get your point. Yeah. For, like, two years ago. But I think... If everyone, but the what made Twitter a garbage can on fire was that it was also. I just think it's generally good for the population. I don't think that porn should be illegal, but I think it's generally good that like porn is not on threads. I think that's generally good for the population. Reduced amount of pornography. I mean, it's about. If you tell me freedom of speech on Twitter, I'm going to kill you. No, it's not freedom of speech. Not for porn. I mean, it's just, it's about choice, I think. Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think Twitter's a good choice. Nah, but there are people whose livelihood is dependent on, like, a mixture of it. Twitch streamers. Don't, like, depend on... Twitch streamers. Huh? Booba Twitch streamers. Booba? Booba, Amaranth, whatever. I don't. But these people have better followings on other pages. Twitter is not anybody's main source of income. That used to not be the case. I don't know. There are people whose following were entirely Twitter, and they've jumped ship for good reason. Yeah, but because of Elon. They weren't jumping ship in the before he bought the company. It was still going to be an on fire garbage can, no, and now it it's wasn't. a privately owned on fire. No, but the can. thing is, is that Twitter wasn't being fucking torpedoed into the dirt before Elon bought I'm it. I'm glad it is though, and I'm and it should have been a Why? long time. Why? It's not a good. What's pl- the difference? If it's everyone moves pl- to Threads, then it's the same thing. But it's less. Think about it. I'm th- I'm thinking from like a cleanse Earth standpoint. If you think that most Twitter accounts are inactive. inactive Right and 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 uh, and, a maj- and, a, and some percentage of them that are are active are bots, and and most people, t- it's just like an on fire garbage. No, can. but that's not why Twitter was an on fire. Twitter was an on fire garbage can because everyone was always talking to each other all the time. Oh, Twitter yes. was an on fire garbage can because it hadn't innovated in any sort of time. It was there was nothing there's nothing no but con- that's not that doesn't make it on fire that just makes it a garbage can it was an on fire garbage can it was losing money hand over fist and now it's continuing to lose money hand over fist no but it's, it's not the it's only reason that it survives now. is because it has some decent market share and that's it no the reason it survived was it's it's fucking branding that was Exa- the most important that's what thing. I just said market share uh that's different but anyway um but 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 like. It, Twitter was losing money, but it wasn't losing as much as it is now. There are far better social... Me- no, it's privately yes. held. What do you we mean? don't know anything about how much money it's losing. No, it's privately held. Correct. However... 
So we have no idea. They could be making the amount of debt that Elon had to take on in order for it. He put all that debt on the company. So that's why they've had to make so many short sighted business decisions now is to pay back that debt. Pay back. What is that interest? Yeah. Yeah. That's why there's been a lot of fucking boneheaded shit about like rate limiting, except for people with uh, Twitter blue or like whatever the fuck. On fire garbage can. Should be dead. Platform is bad. No, but there's not a different. But but if everyone, I'm what I'm saying is that if everyone moves to threads, then there won't be a difference. The bots they're aren't abs- that much. They're absolute. They're not that much. You clearly don't use Twitter. No, but I fucking use it, and there's not that many. But there's more since Elon. But there, but before him, it wasn't that much. No, that was like a whole big thing. Is that there was a lot? No, that was just the fucking excuse he gave. He was a but whiny they, little but, bitch. But they were, they, but they were definitely a. There were of- a lot, but I think it's like I. Th- I also think that's a problem with YouTube right now. I think bots in general are an on fire garbage can in terms of the internet community as it is. That's true. The amount of Telegram ads or bots, you know what I'm saying, where they're like, throw in my WhatsApp. I'll give you, I need $50. Or here, get this free $50 Amazon gift card. You know what I'm saying? But I think, I don't know. I think Twitter two years ago wasn't in terms of bots. I think you have rose tinted glasses. No. I think you absolutely do. Because I have my own fucking experiences and getting fucking notified with shit. Oh, my God. I got way more porn oh, accounts on Instagram than from Twitter. You got way more what? Porn accounts. Fucking pinging me asking for follows. Or messaging me or shit. On Instagram than Twitter. You get more follows on Instagram than you do Twitter. Do you not? That's true. I don't think that's an ex- that dismisses I don't think that's the an excuse argument. I don't think that's an excuse either. But I was just asking. But yeah. But I think, uh, no, but if if, if, the bots weren't that big of a thing in the day to day on Twitter, you don't see bots that much. You see more now, but I think if you're to translate all that to threads, you would still see the same amount. We don't know because threads is so fucking tiny. I agree. Because they biffed the launch. They did biff the launch. And but now they're showing it in in line in Instagram where you can like see yeah, half I of it. Fucking a ton of notifications from Instagram saying, "Please, for the love of God, <laughs> come back to Threads." There's so many people who want to follow you there. Please. Is it not just your Instagram followers? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. I never posted anything to Threads, so why would anyone else follow me? Yeah. But it's like, I don't. I don't have Threads either. To be clear. I do check in on uh, whenever to fucking dismiss a notification. I'll check in on threads occasionally. It's like, damn, people still post here. I think that Twitter and all of its derivatives, Mastodon, all that other stuff, Sky, Blue Sky, doomed to fail because it's just it's just an old, it's just a bad business structure. It's all, it's all, and, and a lot of social media companies run on this business structure where they're like, oh, we'll just give things away for free uh, because uh, venture capital will fuel it as long as we have a lot of people on the platform. And then, oh, shit, we need to make money. Uh, uh, I guess we'll have a subscription okay, service. But couldn't the same be said about all social media? No. Look at YouTube. What? Look at YouTube. What do you mean? YouTube hasn't done that. It was. YouTube makes money and a lot of it. No, yeah, but I'm saying the point is is that they're all an equally bad business model. It's just how much eyes you get on it. No, but so I, if you're saying that Blue Sky and Macedon uh, are bad business models because they're smaller, then it's like, yeah, that's true. No, I think that they if, that they don't have a good enough differentiation of the product that people are not willing to pay. And so they expect it for free. No, but they're not Right, they expect it for free, and so they offer it for free in order to get market share, and then they don't, then they can't convert, 
these people who used to get something for free to pay for something. And so therefore... No, but the primary business model of these apps is not subscriptions. But ads aren't covering it. Yeah, that's the issue. They're not big enough to get the ads. Same with Twitter. Twitter is not profitable. And it has the most market shares. No, but it used to have a ton... uh, It it has burning money. No, 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 no. It used to have more ads. Great, and it was But now everyone is pulled out. Yeah, and, and because it's just not as think good for advertising at its peak. Let's think of your most rose tinted version of Twitter. Oh, everybody was on Twitter. They loved it, and it was burning money. That's true. Burning it. It was always Daily. yeah. It was always losing money. It's I don't good disagree. I don't. But I, I Uber loses money. Yeah, I you think can't say Amazon loses. Amazon's in the negative. That's true. Google it. Google it. Google it. I don't know. A lot of businesses say that they're losing money, and that's not false, but it's just that, like, because there has to be a Uber is part of that. Uber has long been a business which has said that they are just losing money, and that's true, but it's because they're having to sacrifice so much in order to get the gains. And then presumably once they have... In its third core earnings report on Thursday, Amazon reported an operating margin of 7.8%, which is the largest in Amazon's, or the highest since it reached a record of 8.2%. Amazon... Made $9.9 billion in profits. Get out of here. Get out of here. Amazon reports almost no profit and slowing growth. New York Times. What day? When? February. Yeah, but they just posted $9.9 billion in profits October 26, 2023. No, because the thing is, is that they'll fucking... No, but the point is, is that they, 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 uh... I don't even know what my point is. I don't know what your point is. Nor do You're I defending what... an on-fire garbage can. Nor do I know what your point is. My point is, is that Twitter is a cesspool. I don't know why people care so much. I think it's been an on-fire garbage can. I would be perfectly okay if it disappeared tomorrow. And I think the world would be probably better for it. No. Uh, there is a lot. There was a lot of good journalism with. But is there conflicts. now? Is there now? No. Exactly. Let it die. Die. Well, I think now. Let and I think it'd be a great hit on Elon's ego. Yes. Let that thing die. No, I agree. Burn, die, I burn. agree. But it's like threads is not suit- a suitable replacement yet. Does there need to be a replacement for Twitter? Yes. If Twitter didn't work, why is there a need to be a replacement for it? Because, I mean, everyone, all the fucking sharks in the water smelled the blood. TikTok was trying to make a Twitter like. And then they realized it was bad and pulled out. Well, I think they realized that I think Twitter Instagram. wasn't as much of a sinking ship as they thought. No. I think what they realized is that there's a reason why Twitter wasn't making profits. If it's not profitable, that means that not enough people want it. If it was a fucking, if it was a useless social media, then why are people still using it? Because it's because people, people love like watching things go on fire. No, it's because they like short form entertainment in text. It's unique. Reddit doesn't do that the same. Instagram doesn't do that the same. But that, there nothing is... does that the same. And so I think there is a niche need for it. It's just for something like that. If it is Twitter X Threads Mastodon fucking Blue Sky whatever, right? I think. Uh, there is a, a market for it, for sure, that isn't fulfilled by other social medias. But it's just that, like, I don't disagree that it would be awesome if Twitter died. I would just want there to be some replacement. I think Threads would be that only viable replacement at that at this time. Maybe, but I think then uh, Facebook has a huge monopoly over communication, which is... Which is scary, I agree. Which is scary, but I would be funny to see Elon get on. I want Elon to get... Dude, when Elon first bought Twitter, every day I would Google fucking Elon Musk Twitter and read the newest news because every day he was fucking slopping something up. You saw how much I was posting on Instagram? It was amazing to watch. I don't disagree that it would be really funny. I just think there... uh, If there is nothing to replace it, then there would be some amount of tragedy to it. I wish I could fart on command. 
Then I'd do it right into the microphone. I'm sure you would. Yeah. I had a question to ask, but now I don't remember. I was going to fucking grill you about having no internal monologue. Do it. Let's roll it. How much time we got this thing? We can go over yeah, because I have no oh. internal monologue. And what? Well, hold on. Let's say. Can you define to me what you think an internal monologue is? Uh, the fact that every time you're thinking, there's words being said in your brain. No. But it's like, it's like no wonder. It's like you never fucking think of jokes or anything, but you're fucking stale French toast looking ass motherfucker. Jokes are all I think about. What do you mean? I tell piss and shit jokes all the time. No, but if you're, if you're, uh, I don't know. It's hard to conceptualize what it's like without an internal monologue. So I don't even know what pausing a question about it would be, but it's like, if you're fucking, are you not like, if there's like a speech going on, that's really fucking boring. Are you not like internally thinking, saying to yourself, like, man, this is fucking boring. Sh- tomato, more like schmomato. And like fucking spinning shit, like having those words in your head. No, I mean, I like if something is boring, I'd be like, "Damn, this is boring." No, but are but you? Then, but but I'm not. But I'm still listening to them. No, but are you internally? Is there a? Are the words formulating of "Damn, this is boring," or are you just feeling? I bored? feel like I just feel like that. Yeah, that's brazy. Why is that brazy? Because then it's like, I don't know. Like, I don't think to myself, damn, I'm hungry. I just feel hungry, and I go, walk to the dining hall. Yeah. But it's like, I do, I so feel... So when you're hungry. writing an essay, do you, like... So, like, when I'm writing an essay, and I want to, like, talk about, and I'm, like, trying to think out a sentence, I say it out loud. Yeah, I just fucking spit the shit that's in my noggin. Do you think that might be the reason why you take so long? What do you to mean? To get things done efficiently? What? Resay that. Do you think that having an internal monologue and just constantly throwing things out in your brain might be the reason why you're so inefficient when it comes to writing? But I'm not inefficient. When you're I'm horribly inefficient. No, I'm not. I fucking cooked that shit. Six, six months. Six months what? Since you started the mental health video. Yeah, I'm editing them. That's not writing. <laughs> Dumbass. Then, it, then, then. <laughs> what are you fucking spraying on me right now? Okay, well, do you think that's why you're so inefficient in process? No, if anything, I'd say that's why I am good. That's why I'm good at editing because I fucking think of funnies. Because I think of funnies too, though. Yeah, but you f- must feel it just in your fucking groin and your muscles. But it's like I'm internally, I'm like fucking. The difference between you and I is I feel hungry and I'm like, damn, I'm hungry. You should probably go to the fucking dining hall or whatever. Interesting. Because I'm bungry. So you're just constantly talking to yourself. Yes. Do you ever feel calm? No. <laughs> you never like, like when I go to bed, I just close my eyes. Well, because and this is the cool part about being deaf. is It's completely silent. Wait, so you just fucking shut off and there's nothing? I don't dream either. Bro, I okay, that's fucking psychotic. But I don't remember dreams. But I was dude, I wish. No, it's like fucking you go to sleep, your brain's thinking. I shouldn't be hitting this because it's probably making noise, but I can't stop myself. It's f- f- fucking but it's like no, your fucking brain's going, you're fucking <laughs> goosing, you're constantly thinking, you constantly blanket, you know? I I think it took That's ma- why I'm always coming up with ideas and shit. I think it I think it at most takes maybe thirty seconds to a minute for me to fall asleep. If I accidentally hit something. I don't see any changes in the sound wave, do you? I think maybe I would have been muted for the past minute, but I wasn't talking anyway. Um <laughs> But uh No, but it takes maybe thirty seconds to a minute. I don't really think that's crazy. That's crazy. It takes me like ten minutes to fall asleep. Really? Because it's just shit's go shit's going. So when do you when when you zone out? I you zone out, right? Uh you ever zone out? Sometimes, but it won't be like nothing. When I zone out, it's because I'm thinking genuinely nothing. Yeah. I mean, maybe if I'm fucking on no sleep or something, but it'll be it's because I'm thinking of something that's just different. No. Like 
I'm what? fucking thinking of ideas and shit. That's why I'm always coming up with ideas. Because I always got dumbass shit in my head. Dumbass piss shit in my head. That I need to fucking spit out. Spit fames to. I have ideas too, but like, they're like, I'm, I'm in an idea thinking like generation mode. What does and that mean? Like, well, if I'm thinking of ideas, I'll be like, okay, think about the problem, break the problem into steps, and then figure out solutions for each of these problems, and innovate. And then... But you have to have a moment where you're like, all right, it's ideas time. No, I really don't think I... Like, if, like when, let's say, like, my... No, right but, I'm, but, 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 but in order to get to the point where you're like, I need to come up with ideas. Let's say I have an assignment due. Because I, this is exactly what I did, like, yesterday when I was writing this final. Question one. Blah, 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 blah. This is the instruction. And then it says, explain your response. Now I'm thinking, I remember this part from this class. I remember that part from this class. How can I combine these things? And I just think, and I write. There's no button. There's no voice going. Yeah, but you remember that one time where... Jim Angle said this, and then Jim Anderson said that that other time. What if we use those and combine them? I just write. Uh, I don't think that's what's in my noggin either. It's also hard to realize what is this of just having an internal monologue versus having an internal monologue and ADHD and caffeinated most of the time. Because it's like... I don't remember the last time I had caffeine. Whatever the last time I drank soda was. But it's like, when you're fucking caffeinated, what's going on? Yeah, I don't have any caffeine. No, but I mean, if you were, what the, what is the feeling? Do you feel souped up? No. Uh, caffeine doesn't really affect me. That's why, like, I didn't drink soda for the caffeine. I drank soda for... Soda! The... Soda! But it's like... I drank soda for the... Just for the taste. Yeah, I do it because... The fucking the mental sentences are going slow. Wow. And I need them. To I never drink. I, I like my mom will sometimes be like, "Oh, you're staying up late. Do you need a soda?" And it's like I don't really need a soda. It's soda. Good. The caffeine's not gonna do anything. Uh, no. I mean, for me, it's like it's like once I'm fucking going, I'm going. It's just more. Uh, yeah, but I don't have jump like, starting the car. I don't have a speed in my head. I'm constantly. Like, I'm very... You're very what? Like, obviously, I mean, not to, like, shit breaks anything on myself, but, like, I'm very smart. Okay. And I have ideas, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm good at executing ideas, and I'm good at doing things, but I don't have, like, a voice being like, yo, brother, answer is C on this... But like, but like when you're coming up with a, are you never like fucking, see, if I, if I was bored in class and they were fucking reviewing the answers to the math test that I had aced right. and it was like, I would be thinking to myself, I'm so fucking bored. And then like, I would be like thinking about ideas and shit. Right. But it's like, and so that's where the new ideas come from. Are you just not doing that? Are you just fucking up no, bored and just fucking chilling there, finger up your fucking down your gooch, being like, this is chilling. Yeah, I'm just chilling. That's crazy. I think I have the ability to be calm, and I don't think you have that ability. I don't. <laughs> and I think that's something that a lot of, not just neurodivergent people, but I think a lot of people don't have the ability to be calm anymore. Uh... That's I true. I think that I think that that's what like not to go back with the TikTok generation stuff, but I think in general the, the attention, attention economy. Spans, yeah, I think attention has become so much of us that I don't think people can be calm anymore. There's a term for that. It's the attention economy. Yeah, no. Because I, it's it's it's. I really enjoy it's marketable. I really enjoy being calm. But it's like it's like, because there's also a thing of like of like, why be calm when you can do shit? Do you know meditating? Fuck meditating. Well, do you know, like, how meditating is, like, how long... You, like, if there's a way to start meditating where you're, like, how long until a thought comes into my brain? What? You sit there, silence, eyes closed, try to think of nothing. And if something pops into your head, you say, oh, I lasted ten seconds before a thought came into my head. I couldn't do that. I can go... I was fucking... I can go for seven In the minutes. time I heard you talking about that, I was thinking to myself about how that's similar 
to the fucking you know the game. It's the game. Sorry to everyone watching, but it's this idea of like it's a game that everyone is always playing, and you lose it whenever you think about it. But that's it. It's just a mental acknowledgement of being in it, and then it's like just remember the game. Fucking lost. Fuck. The game. We talked about this in Roots class a while ago. Roots class? I think so. Sir, that was eight years ago. Eight? No. Six 2016? Six or seven. Seven. 2016. Seven. Almost eight years ago. Seven. And that was also it was the latter half of 2016. In the early part of 2017. All right. So almost eight years ago. Seven. Spavin, Spavin. Well, I gotta go to this formal. Piss boy. So thanks for watching the most Piss rambly boy. episode I think we've ever had. Piss boy. Do we even intro this? No, we didn't even intro. We just called open because remember I was on my phone. So you're always on your phone. We're always on our phones. You know I stole that bit from another podcast. Have a good week. And it's funny because you're you're Enjoy saying life. it now a lot, and you're Be like calm. we're always on our phones, and I'm like damn, you just fucking got that telephone to him from a different podcast. I'm going to gouge your heart out with this crutch.